I want to be able to watch what's on my uh, computer PC on TV. And I need this cable that plugs into the side of the laptop. But the problem, in order to do that, I have to run this uh, cable across the floor of the room. And it's uh, an ugly, tripping hazard. So I need to run this cable underneath the carpet. I was going to buy uh, uh, some device that would cast from my PC laptop to the TV, but it wasn't very clear whether it would work or not. This works. I use it all the time. So now the problem is is to get this uh, cord underneath the carpet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slit a slit right here and run that underneath. I marked where I want to cut through the carpet with a pen. It's very easy to lose your place here as you're cutting and end up cutting two and three different places. I started with a small hole in the carpet, stuck a screwdriver in there, lift it up so now I can cut easier with this. This tape measure is what I'm going to use to feed this cable. But I need to poke a hole in the carpet about every foot and lift the carpeting so I can push the tape through. If I can get the tape to run all the way to the other side, then I will attach the cable to the tape. But poking a hole in the carpet is uh, to lift it as you use a very small screwdriver, very small screwdriver, so that when I'm finished, you will not see the hole that I poked in there or be hardly noticeable. Now my tape measure under the carpet tells me I'm at 5 feet 8 inches or 7 inches right where the carpet is. Okay, I've got another tape measure that it says it's 4 feet uh, 5, 5 feet, 5 feet 7 inches. So that puts me just about where I want to come up. So my tape measure is already underneath the carpet and where I want to come up. I've cut a slit uh, where I want the cable to come up into the laptop. I don't mind uh, cutting up and uh, doing things this carpet. It needs to be replaced. Replacing is no problem. It's just where am I going to move all the furniture while they're replacing it. Anyways, when the carpet's replaced, when they do the installation, then I can run the wires underneath while they're uh, installing the carpet. Hopefully. There's my slit where I want the wire to exit. And I just stepped and I could feel right here. Right here is the end of the tape measure. So I want to see if I can pull that tape, tape measure over with a piece of wire or something underneath and get it in over here. Here's a piece of coat hanger wire I've used for uh, fishing other electrical lines. So I'm going to see if I can put that in a carpet and uh, pull that uh, end of the tape over to the hole. Fished for the tape. Now i got to pull through the slot I want the cable to come through. There's the cable end. Now I've got to be able to tie it to the tape measure and pull the tape measure back through. I've got to tie it so it doesn't come apart underneath the carpet. There's the taped cable. Now I'm going to start pulling it through and hopefully it won't come apart underneath the carpet. There it is coming out of the other end of the carpet where the uh, TV is. 
testing it out. Okay, I got my laptop on. There's my cable coming out. Runs through the floor. Barely see it. You can feel it when you step on it, but I can live with that better than tripping over it. And up to the TV. Now, if I want to watch TV, I have it on uh, YouTube right now, but if I just want to watch uh, cable TV, go up to HDM3. And I'm on there. Go back to PC. Now, I probably wouldn't have to go through all of this trouble with the cable if I had a smart TV. But this is not a smart TV. And it can be a long time before I buy another television. I'm not going to throw this one away just to get a smart TV.